Right, we've got another switch to work on. This is an OLED. I believe this works, but it's just not docking. Um, if I remember rightly, I spoke to the customer and told them to send the dock as well, because that's what they've done. They've sent the dock as well with it, um, so as I can test that if, you know, if it is the dock what's causing it. So I can test it on my own, and then if it, if it works for me, then I can look into fixing the dock instead. Uh, looks like I need some extra power. Doesn't normally need extra juice, so that's telling me there's something wrong. Normally just docks. Let's use that cable instead. And let's plug this one into my power source. Yeah, that's telling me there's something wrong because it doesn't normally need extra power. It normally just works. So plug that in. Yeah, it doesn't look like it wants to work. Oh, hang on. Right, so display's gone off, but no signal. Obviously, that's not normal. Yeah, so it looks like it's not docking. So it, it's recognising that there's a dock on there. It's just not actually outputting anything. So that, that basically works over USB-C. Um, and yes, you can use USB-C to USB-C for display. If your monitor supports it, which this one does... Uh, this is a 4K display, um, you know, 4K portable monitor. Not cheap at all, these things. Uh, but this supports either HDMI, well, mini HDMI or USB C over uh, HDMI over USB C. Um, but that's not displaying anything at all. It is recognizing and detecting it's there, so I don't think it's the dock. I will test the dock later on and make sure the dock is okay, but. That's definitely not working. Cool. That's fine. We shall figure it out. It's probably going to be either a bad port or a blown filter. Very likely. One of the two. But it could be M92, given, uh, you know, saying that because it wanted more power. It normally just worked without extra power plugged into the screen. And the screen wanted extra power, so that could be that it's not outputting enough power let's have a look at the port itself uh, that looks absolutely fine the port looks mint I don't think it's the port right so in terms of the dock function on this there's a few things it can be the most obvious thing is going to be either Poi 3 USB. This bank of filters here. This filter here, which everyone seems to forget about. Or this chip here, M92. Let's test everything one by one. See if we can figure it out. If everything else shows up okay, I'll probably just change M92. Because M92 doesn't have to show up as short. I'm not getting contact on that. You know what? I need to go in this thingy down because I haven't got any test leads. I haven't got any uh, new test leads for it. I have to grind this down just so I can use it for now. I have got some, but I just need to find them. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do for now. A lot more point eight. Cheers, a lot more point eight. Oh, that's so much better. Look at it. I'm a friggin' genius. Yeah, that filter's blown. I thought it did, but I just had to make sure. That filter's blown. Both of them. Yeah, we've got no continuity on that filter whatsoever.
Okay, so that filter's blown. What about these ones here? That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. And that one's good. Just this filter here. That is literally all that's causing this to not dock. Let's change that filter. Unbelievable how such a small component can cause such an issue. That's literally all that's causing it. Right, that pinged off, but it's fine. It's dead anyway. So the question we've got to ask as well is, what blew that fuse? What has actually damaged that fuse? Why has it blown? Uh, sorry, not fuse, um, filter. But the thing is, they act like a fuse, right? They don't, they don't just act as a filter, they act as a fuse. You know, if something goes wrong and too much current goes through it, it can cause the filters to blow that it, it allows them to act like a fuse blows them before it does any any further damage to the console so we need to find out what that is that's caused that was it just a bad charger was it um a bad dock and we'll find out in a minute oh, i've got a standard switch here so that particular one that particular filter is the exact same filter as this one on the HAD001 standard switchboard uh, HAD01 sorry uh, switchboard so if you look at the design you got the four that, four that are here so you got one two three four there and then this fifth one if I was to do a continuity check from here it would go to these two wires here those two there, so those two pads on Pi 3 USB. And then this one here is basically the same as on the other side of the board on the standard switch, just here, right? So there's on the original switch, there was something called a diode array pack or a diode pack, uh, basically, just a bunch of diodes, bunch of protection diodes. Um, they caused a lot of issue, issues, but a lot of people forget about that particular filter. Um, and they get an old display and they can't figure it out what figure out why. And it's generally caused by either this filter here or this filter here. That's why I tested this one first. So let's uh, steal this filter, but first I need to test it and make sure it's good. Okay, that filter's good, I can use that. So if uh, if I can't find out the reason why it's actually blown, because I'm not going to power this on until I know why it's blown, or at least I'm going to try not to. If I can't figure that out, then I'll, I'll have to just assume that it's the customer's charger what's caused it, and then just advise that they buy a new charger. The reason I went for that one specifically is because they're smaller than the other ones. Oi. Get off the tweezers. Thank you. Well, I'm going to drop my airflow right the way down. I'm going to go for 1%. Just so as I don't end up blowing the filter away I should be in place now oh, and now I can go back to 40% there we go 
Surface tension is your friend. Yep, she's working. Now I need to know what actually caused it to blow. The question is, was it just a bad charger? Was it just a random unforeseen event? Or was it the dock? There we go. Yep, it works. So the dock works fine. Um, so the only thing I can really do then is just advise the customer to replace his charger, I guess. Because the dock seems okay. Yeah, there we go. That's done. Um, it's probably a bad charger, so I'm assuming just, well, just advise the customer to potentially replace their charger. Yeah, happy days. I'll uh, call that good. It took a lot longer than we should have done, though, didn't it? Um, never mind. It's all good.